What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a what I eat in a day. And at the beginning of the week, I like to plan out uh, like a general idea of my meals for the week so that I can make the most out of the groceries that I have. So today actually ended up being a really fall themed meals so um i thought it would be fun to document it today and we are going out of town this weekend so i'm trying to use up all of the fresh vegetables and fruit and stuff that we have in the fridge so i'm going to be eating a lot of that and yeah i love watching these videos so i thought it would be fun to film it so i hope you enjoy watching and i hope you get some good recipe ideas and yeah okay, so for breakfast today i'm gonna have some of these pumpkin waffles i showed them in a little grocery haul recently these are so good i've had the, they're by Nat nature's path um i've had their berry ones before and they have a whole bunch of other flavors i think they have like chocolate and stuff but these are seasonal obviously so good they're crispy and they have like a not very overpowering um pumpkin flavor so i'm just gonna toast these up we actually don't have a toaster yet so I put it in the oven and I put it on broil, which actually tastes really good. And then I'm gonna top it with some fruit. I'm gonna top it off with a little bit of this crunchy almond butter, bananas, and blueberries. lunchtime now and I'm gonna have a salad and veggie burger for lunch so I have this sweet kale salad kit from Wegmans that I got and I like to buy these when I have salads just to change it up a little bit because um, there's a lot of things in it that I wouldn't normally buy by themselves so like this one is kale red cabbage carrots um it comes with cranberries and sunflower seeds and it also has a light lemon poppy seed dressing and that's not really something that i would normally just like buy a tub of lemon poppy seed dressing but it is something that's fun to have every once in a while so that's why i like to buy these to just change it up so i'm gonna put this in a bowl and then i'm also going to bake one of these pumpkin spinach burgers these are life-changing um, it's by the brand Strong Roots, and I just discovered them kind of recently. They have, I think, about like four different flavors of veggie burgers now. And oh my god, this one is so good. I'm just a sucker for anything pumpkin, sweet potato, butternut squash, like the whole thing. You'll see everything I'm eating today is basically like pumpkin, a lot of orange foods today, which is very fall. So um, this burger, I'm gonna bake, I think, because I like it when it's really crispy. Yeah, there's pretty good ingredients in it. Let's see. So tasty and it's really good with this salad mix. I've had it once before together. So I'm gonna use this bowl to mix it with. This is like a Pyrex bowl that I got from Amazon. These are life-changing. It comes with three different um, sizes and this is the medium one. And I like to have my salads in it, toss your salad in the bowl, which I like doing. Um, these are also really good for like leftovers and stuff because you can throw your leftovers in it and they're oven safe. So you can just pop it in the oven. So I'm just going to put this in here now and then I'm going to put the burger in the oven at probably, I think it says 400. Yeah, 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. And I'm going to mix in the dressing to my salad right now, even though I'm not eating it in tw until 20 minutes because kale is super hard to... Just to digest sometimes and I find that the longer it sits in the dressing the softer it gets and the tastier it gets so I'm gonna do that right now Ha! <laughs> 
comes with a little bag of cranberries, which is nice. I'm gonna do a little bit of those and then sunflower seeds. And then this is the lemon poppy seed dressing. It's so freaking good. All right, and then this is a lot, so I'm probably only gonna use like half. And here is the salad, it's super colorful, and I'm just gonna use these tongs to mix it around. My veggie burger just finished baking, and it's super crispy now, so I just plopped it on top of the salad, and I'm gonna enjoy this. And what I'm gonna do is drizzle some of this over the veggie burger. This is the best sriracha in the entire world. It's disgusting that it's $7, but I got this at the supermarket. You can get it on Amazon for a lot cheaper. Um, there's probably not a day that goes by that I don't eat this sriracha, honestly. It's so good. And this is lunch. So I'm gonna try out this little coffee drink as a little afternoon pick-me-up. Um, I've never tried this one before. It's cold brew coffee with maple water. So uh, I'm very interested in this. I've had um, cold brew with coconut water before, but I've never had maple water. So let's see, I'm just gonna pour it over some ice. Very, very interesting flavor. Um, it's kind of bitter a little bit. I don't know if I'm obsessed with it. I'm probably gonna add a little bit of almond milk to the top just cause it's, I don't know. gonna snack on some mango blueberries and pomegranate seeds right now so I was in the mood for a little crunchy snack and these are my new obsession these sweet potato cheesy puffs so 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 good um, they don't really taste like sweet potato necessarily but they are just the perfect snack ever so highly recommend if you can locate these they're spudsy vegan puffs okay now it's time for some dinner and this is one of my favorite meals that i've been making lately my mom actually made it for me the first time and it's just such a good random combo and um i just it's like Anytime I have the opportunity to make it, I've been making it. So this is pretty much just sauteed garlic kale, um, roasted butternut squash, black beans, and tempeh. And it's kind of like a macro bowl-ish, um, but something about the four things together is just so, so good. It's perfect for like a winter healthy dinner. So pretty much um, I'm just gonna saute the kale with a little bit of olive oil and garlic. And then I'm gonna cut up this squash in half and bake it in the oven at 400 until it's like a mashed potato consistency. I'm so obsessed with squash. And then I'm gonna slice up this tempeh into thin slices and season it with some liquid aminos and coconut aminos. And I'm gonna bake this in the oven at 350 for probably about 15 minutes on each side, and then I'm gonna microwave the black beans, and I am someone who absolutely hates microwaving things, but something about microwave black beans is just a game changer. I don't know what it is. I think it just like fully cooks the bean um, rather than making it on the pan. So I'm gonna microwave those and then put it all together, and it's so good. Okay 
guys thank you so much for watching my what i ate in a day video i hope you enjoyed it and follow me on instagram it's at but how do you get your protein for more vegan recipes and make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel like this video if you liked it <laughs> comment down below what meal was your favorite out of everything that i made thanks for watching